Welcome again to Dr. Bernstein's Diabetes University. Today's session uh, we can call Some Thoughts on Ketogenic Diets. Uh, what is a ketogenic diet? Well, it's a diet that somehow causes the ketones in your blood to go up or to appear in your blood. Now, uh, the most popular ketogenic diet in all likelihood is uh, the diet espoused by the American Diabetes Association, which you could see illustrated here. And this is ketogenic because it causes very high blood sugars, uh, requires a lot of insulin uh, to cover uh, the uh, carbohydrate or glucose in the meal, and um, if you don't take these huge amounts of insulin, which can make you fat, your blood sugar can go extremely high, and uh, the elevation of blood sugar indirectly uh, brings about the metabolism of fat and severe dehydration. It goes into great detail of the mechanisms by which uh, anything that raises blood sugar, uh, illness, failure to take insulin, um, high carbohydrate foods, anything that raises blood sugar dramatically can cause ketosis, uh, but more so than just ketosis, severe dehydration that can be fatal. So the most common ketogenic diet is the ADA diet, and it's not uh, fatal because of the ketones uh, as much as because of the dehydration and very high blood sugars that accompany it. Now, the more commonplace ketogenic diets are used uh, usually to cause weight loss. You'll see how the metabolism of fat burning fat or oxidizing fatty acids produces uh, substances called ketones. And if you're trying to lose weight and are doing so successfully so that you're destroying fat, uh, you're bound to show ketones in your blood and uh, are likely to find it in your urine. That's the easiest way to find it. By the way, many people are fixated on ketogenic diets as if there's something magical or super healthy about them. Uh, they're not harmful and they're not healthy. Our ancestors uh, had both, in effect, because in, during periods of starvation, they lost weight, burned fat, and produced ketones. And when they had plenty of food around, uh, they likely did not burn fat, did not lose weight, and did not produce ketones. So uh, ketones per se are neither harmful nor uh, magical. Yeah, we have uh, some special situations like uh, children with seizure disorders apparently benefit from ketogenic diets, but these diets are causing weight loss and um, may have associated problems. Uh, the kids being too slim. Uh, but that's basically the picture. Uh, there's nothing good or bad with ketones per se, but if you're losing weight, you're bound to show ketones. If you're pregnant and um, uh, don't eat all night, you're likely to show ketones in the morning, and these are not harmful to the fetus because it happens in virtually every pregnancy. Um, so, uh, ketones per se are not a problem, but if you're following the most common ketogenic diet, the ADA diet, which counts on very high blood sugars, there you're doing something dangerous. That sort of ketogenic diet can be fatal. Ketoacidosis in uh, diabetic children has a survival in most hospitals of about 55%. So,
See what you can make of this. Take a look at session number five and good luck. Uh, before you sign off from this session of Diabetes University, take a look at my book, Diabetes Solution, which uh, you can view at the site listed below, or you can purchase from any online bookstore. Also, visit my monthly seminars, teleseminars. Uh, the site for getting these free seminars is listed below. Um, you can also uh, join the Diabetes Forum where you can ask questions to other diabetics who have read my book and have been using it. And one last thing is if you go to the teleseminar, you can ask questions which I will answer, uh, if not the same month that you ask the question, uh, within a month or two thereof. Thanks.